Good morning everyone. In this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 3rd October. The first question is India's first AICTE training and learning academy is to be set up in which city? Right answer is Jaipur. India's first AICTE academy will be in Jaipur. This Atal Academy will be India's first such academy atal stands for aicte training and learning academy the goal is to introduce upgraded teaching methods and modules to make technical education more effective if we talk about aicte it is all india council for technical education it was formed in 1945 it is a statutory body under department of education ministry of human resource development the headquarter is in new delhi The chairman of AICTE is Mr Anil Sahastrabuddhi. If we talk about Human Resource Development Ministry, the ministry recently announced that India will participate in PISA 2021 after a gap of 9 years. PISA stands for Program for International Student Assessment. Apart from that, HRD Ministry also constituted Bhaskar Ramamurthy Committee for JEE reforms. The HRD Ministry also launched national digital library of india to make digital education accessible to all answer in comment box which iit institute has developed national digital library of india next question is who heads the high level committee on corporate social responsibility right answer is mr injeti srinivas he will be the head of committee on corporate social responsibility This committee has been constituted by Ministry of Corporate Affairs to formulate a roadmap for coherent policy on corporate social responsibility. The section 135 of Companies Act has the provision for the corporate social responsibility. The committee will also review the schedule 7 of the Companies Act. The schedule 7 define the activities on which the companies have to spend their CSR funds. If we talk about CSR rules the companies with a turnover of 1000 crore or more or net worth of 500 crore or more or a net profit of 5 crore or more have to spend at least 2% of their net profit on CSR as per the companies act next question is who has been appointed the first ever female major general in 47 years of bangladesh in the 47 years history of bangladesh right answer is miss susan giti she has been appointed as the first ever female major general in the 47 years history of bangladesh on 26th march 1971 bangladesh got independence from pakistan if we talk about bangladesh it is a south asian country the currency of bangladesh is taka and the capital is dhaka if we talk about Indo Bangladesh border five states of India share border boundary with Bangladesh these are Assam Tripura Mizoram Meghalaya and West Bengal there are four operational border hut on Indo Bangladesh border these are Kalaichar and Balat in Meghalaya and Srinagar and Kamla Sagar in Tripura apart from that the first joint committee on border hut meeting held in Tripura's capital Agartala SAC which is a South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation was also founded in Bangladesh capital Dhaka answer in comment box where is the secretariat of SAC apart from that the secretariat of BAMSTEC is also located in Dhaka next question is which indian origin personality has been named as chief economist of IMF right answer is miss geeta gopinath she has been named as chief economist of IMF She is a US citizen and overseas citizen of India. If we talk about IMF, it is an international financial institution. The headquarter is in Washington DC and Christine Lagarde is the managing director of IMF. IMF plays a crucial role in the management of balance of payment difficulties and international financial crisis. Next question is the 17th century Oort Kadal Bridge which is in news recently is located in which state? Right answer is Jammu and Kashmir. It is an arc-shaped bridge located in the middle of Dal Lake in Srinagar. Recently, government of Germany has granted 32 lakh 
for the conservation of camel hump shaped bridge if we talk about oot kadal it is a 17th century bridge which was constructed during mogal period it is a stone masonry bridge answer in comment box which mogal emperor built salimar bagh in shrinagar next question is which new initiative has been launched by government of india to promote use of compressed biogas right answer is satat government recently launched an initiative called satat that means sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation the satat initiative has been launched to promote compressed bio cng as alternative fuel if we talk about compressed bio cng it is produced naturally through anaerobic decomposition from waste after purification it is compressed and it has methane content of over 95% apart from that government also launched gobardhan scheme during budget session the scheme was launched from the karnal district of haryana the gobardhan stands for galvanizing organic bio agro resources the scheme has objective to convert farm waste into useful compost biogas and bio cng next question is the nationwide action research project of gram panchayat development scheme has been launched from which city right answer is gwalior this has been launched from the gwalior in madhya pradesh the project is designed for sustainable and holistic development of rural area of country it is a initiative of mord that means ministry of rural development under this initiative special efforts will be made to raise the standards of living of poorest people of society next question is pandit tulsidas borkar who passed away recently was the legendary exponent of which musical instrument right answer is harmonium he was the exponent of harmonium he was conferred padam shri award for his contribution to the indian music apart from that he was also the recipient of sangeet natak academy award in 2005 if we talk about few other personalities who passed away recently they are gor chandra mahapatra who was a freedom fighter and social reformer from odisha mr kofi annan who was former un secretary general he was a diplomat from ghana mr m karuna nidhi who was five times chief minister of tamil nadu mr atal bihari vajpayee who was the former prime minister of india mr kuldeep nayar was a journalist mr somnath chatterjee was a lok sabha speaker mr briz katyal was a bollywood writer while mr stephen hawking was a physicist mr balram ji das tandon was the governor of chatisgarh and after his demise ms anandi ben patel has been given the additional charge of chatisgarh so now she is the governor of chatisgarh as well as governor of madhya pradesh mr jasdev singh was a hindi commentator he was associated with doordarshan next question is which of the following will become the second indian state after rajasthan to set up ministry for cows right answer is madhya pradesh madhya pradesh will be the second indian state to set up ministry for cows after rajasthan earlier earlier india's first cow sanctuary was also opened in malwa district of madhya pradesh if we talk about madhya pradesh it has recently announced that it will observe 14th august as shaheed samman divas apart from that madhya pradesh is the first state in india to have happiness department answer in comment box which government recently launched happiness curriculum in schools apart from that the kadaknath chicken meat from madhya pradesh has received gi tag recently gi stands for geographical indication next question is who has been named the flag bearer of indian contingent for the third youth olympic games 2018 right answer is manu bhaker miss bhaker has been named as the flag bearer of indian contingent for the third youth olympic games if we talk about olympic games the winter olympics of 2018 held in pyeongchang in south korea the 2014 winter olympics held in russia while the 2022 winter olympics will be in china the 2016 summer olympics held in rio in brazil while the 2020 summer olympics will be in tokyo in japan the 2018 summer youth olympic games 
will be in Argentina. Thank you. If our efforts benefit you in your current affairs preparation, please like the video, share it with your friends. Apart from that, we have recently started a new series for the comprehensive coverage of current issues. Please check that series also. Thank you. Thank you and that's all for the day.